This amount of coal can power this light bulb for three hours. The same amount of uranium pellets in a traditional nuclear reactor can power 70 houses for a year. The same amount of uranium pellets in an advanced reactor can power 800 houses for a year. There's a technology available today that can meet the world's energy demands while producing zero CO2 emissions, and that technology is nuclear power. The state that I'm from, West Virginia, is a beautiful state, but it's also one of the largest coal producers in the US. What it takes to extract coal demolishes the beauty of the natural environment. There's a trade-off. You can't have both. It's either the environment or coal. And I thought there has to be a better way. And that's why I became a nuclear engineer. In middle school and high school, I had an amazing physics teacher. It was because of her, ultimately, that I got so excited about nuclear power and its potential as a source for carbon-free electricity. Not many people think of nuclear power as an answer to climate change. Chernobyl, Three Mile Island, Fukushima. This is what people think about when you talk about nuclear. The cooling requirements in our reactor means that it's not possible to have another Chernobyl or Three Mile Island or Fukushima. Our reactors are walk away safe. A traditional reactor is like a car with the accelerator permanently stuck at full throttle. You can't stop it. You can only slow it down or steer it clear of an accident. But if something happens to the driver, there's no one there to press the brake because it's still going with the pedal to the metal. Our reactors are like typical cars where if you let off the accelerator, it'll slow down and eventually come to a stop all on its own. We've designed a new version of a nuclear reactor that can extract enormous amounts of energy from nuclear waste without making any additional carbon dioxide. This is the 20 metric tons of high-level nuclear waste that a conventional reactor produces in a year. Worldwide, there's 9,000 metric tons of high-level nuclear waste produced each year. Right now, there's 270,000 metric tons of high-level nuclear waste that exists worldwide. This is the amount of nuclear waste that our reactor produces in a year. Using existing nuclear waste, our reactor can power the entire world for 72 years, even taking into account increasing electricity demand. This is a sandwich. You take a bite. With one bite, you've eaten about 4% of the sandwich, but you're still hungry. Instead of eating the remaining 96% of the sandwich, you toss it in the trash and make another. Not very efficient. That is the fuel efficiency of a traditional nuclear reactor. Our reactor is the opposite, leaving just 4% waste instead of 96. Nuclear power can be one of the best tools for combating climate change, but it also makes economic sense. Nuclear power is scalable and it can be deployed quickly to meet the world's increasing energy demands. And advanced reactor designs can power the world safely while generating minimal waste. Our reactors have one of the best chances at providing a source of energy that's cheaper than coal and cheaper than natural gas. But there are significant hurdles to getting these designs off the ground. The regulatory roadblocks aren't just slowing down developing of the new technology, they're slowing down investment in the technology overall. The world right now has rapidly increasing energy demands, and so if the U.S. doesn't invest in advanced nuclear, then someone else will.